Hello guys, um, ever so sorry that I've not, not done a video in a while, uh, it's just, um, everything's just been crazy lately, um, and I've just been trying to like deal with a lot of stuff mentally really, and anxiety's got really bad, so it's just been trying to kick that, that's, that's what's been stopping me doing the, um, doing the videos really, um, but pretty much, I, ju I just want to like, make a video like addressing how I am, um, and like been doing an update pretty much. Um, my head's been pretty much like everywhere really. Uh, my anxiety's been everywhere, so that's like a, 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 it's just it's just really hard to <laughs> speak speak really, and that that's probably why I'm like stuttering and stuff like that. It's just. That's really why I'm like not not really wanting and not not wanting to do the videos, but like just holding back because when I look at them, I, I just feel like an idiot. But <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty much I, I've been having seizures regular still, and obviously I've been having stuff in the family to deal with, and um, I just. Um, Actually, I've had a lot. I can't thank you all enough. It's been the the support in the comments. It's been so so lovely, and I can't I can't thank you all enough. It's been the the support. It's been so like means so much to me. It really does. Um, but I'm I'm still doing all right. I'm still alive, really. This that's how I can look at it. I'm still alive, but I'm just it's, life's hard, really, at the minute. And I'm trying to find a job as well. That's really hurting me. Like, just not really getting the right job. Every job that I do look at, it's got to have certain licenses or something like that, or a driving license. That's what's been playing on my mind. I can't, I can't get driving till I'm fit for a, for a year. Um, majority of the jobs that I try and go for, if they ask me for it, like, if I've got any mental mental conditions or um, like um, health conditions that affect your consciousness majority of the jobs that I've gone for in the past, the, the, as soon as I said I've got epilepsy, even if they say it's controlled, I, won't even, I can't even get on a step ladder. So it's, it's all just been playing on my mind lately. Um, so I just, uh, I just don't know what to do anymore. It's just same, same stuff, different day really, like just not being able to do that really, just, it's, it's really hard and not only that, like obviously get getting into a relationship as well. Like that's what that's what's hurting me right at the minute. It's every every girl that I find, they, as soon as soon as they like they're in bed with me or something when it happens, they, they don't want they can't cope with it or they don't want to be with me for it. But I just don't know how to cope. But it's it's life for me, I suppose. But um, I'm on um. What's it called? Um, Lamotrigin, five hundred milligram twice. Uh, no, two hundred milligram twice a day. Um, and then I'm on Clobazam for when I get the auras, but I don't get five more. So obviously, as soon as I use them five tablets, then that's when obviously I've got no chance of fighting them off really. Um, but um, I, I'm gonna get my mum on. Uh, the next video, um, I just thought I'd do this video like not on my own, really, just like explaining why I've not been around and stuff, like, why I've not been updating for a while. Um, but pretty much, it's like I, I just I can't thank you all enough. Like I said, I, I know I've said it all already, but I can't thank you all enough for like, the support. The the comments have just been so many people like supporting me and like giving me support is it's honestly i really can't thank you all enough um but with, with the um there was one comment that uh i said i was gonna um reach out about was uh, my first seizure and that was pretty much um when i had my first seizure it was um pretty much when uh, but before I had it, I had the auras for about a month to about a month and a half, like before that. And all I could feel was, all I could say was I feel weird. 
you know what I mean? Like that was the only thing I thought like when I was with my mum or out with my family or something like that, I'd I'd just zone out and I'd say it feel it feels weird. I don't I don't know what the feeling was. I don't I didn't have a have a seizure before that. I didn't have anything to do with seizures or anything. Um but I got this weird feeling for months before it, so I was I was just feeling weird. Didn't didn't think much of it because it was just I don't know, it was just thought I just thought it was like um Something like when you wake out of your you sleep and you feel a bit like zoned out, it felt similar to that. But um, for months before that, I, I had that. And then on one day, I went, I went round to one of my mates. All of a sudden, I got that first feeling like just I just felt weird. I said, I, I feel sick and then I feel weird. And I just went to the toilet to throw up. All of a sudden, I woke up in the back of an ambulance. And obviously, my mate was with me saying she, uh, she was saying that. Like, um, Pretty much, you, you stood up saying you feel weird, went to the toilet, we had a massive bang and then you obviously dropped on the floor, started fitting out, so we called an ambulance and he was fitting out for about five minutes, something like that, so, but yeah, the, the, the thing is, obviously, the, the, the last thing you'll remember, and sometimes it, it creeps me out as well, because when I have the seizures in my sleep, or when I first wake up, or like, sometimes it like, I felt it when I've had it in like in the daytime or whatever. But when I have that feeling, I remember that feeling before I go into it, and then sometimes it'll feel like I've. It feels like you've just blacked out, and then you woke up from having that feeling. That that's how it, that's how it feels. But sometimes you're remembering it, and it it still gives me the chills, and it and it's creepy to this day. Like I, I've seen on the video, obviously on the videos of myself, like right, I've heard the noises that I make. But sometimes I can hear the the noises that i'm making and it creeps you out because it's like something that's it's like it's like you're getting possessed by something and it's it really does creep you out but it's like i said the the, the first seizure that obviously that 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 was one thing that changed my life because obviously that that the they, they didn't re they didn't test me straight away after that but two days like, it was like a couple of days after that i had another one and as soon as I had that one, they started testing me over and over, like with uh, MRI scans, CT, uh, CT scans, and stuff like that. And pretty much, um, obviously, they found it was left temporal lobe epilepsy, and um, it was obviously uh, they started me on tablets, and ever since then, it's been a big roller coaster, really. Um, but yeah, like I said, I just wanted to do an update video anyway. Um, I, I, I hope that explained in depth for my first seizure but um <laughs> pretty much um I, I just wanted to do an update video because um obviously I've, I, I've not not done one in a couple of months and obviously like i said the, the reason i've not done one is i've been i've had a lot of stuff to deal with like with my family uh, and like just uh, uh, my life's been a big roller coaster at the minute i've been having quite a lot of seizures regular still and then my anxiety has been all over the place and my depression and stuff. So it's just been all up and down. But yet again, like I said, I know I've said it <laughs> probably 10, 20 times in this video already, but I can't thank you all enough for it. It, 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 the, the support. It, honestly, it's, it's, I can't appreciate it. So, and it, I can't appreciate it so, en enough. It really is. It, it, means, it means a lot. It really does. But um, next video... Um, I'm, I'm gonna get my mum in it, and I, I've asked my mum already, and she, she's at, she's pretty much at, like she said she'll explain like how she has to like cope with it, and she deals with it and stuff, and it will it will answer some some of your questions as well because I, I have seen a lot of not not hate but I've seen a lot of like like obviously questioning about my mum not moving me or not not touching me while I'm like that or anything like that, and. We spoke about it a lot, and like I said, I'll get I'll, I'll get her to explain it in the next video. But it's it, it everyone has a, a different way of coping with stuff, and from from how it is, it's 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 hard for me to explain. My mum can explain it in her but in her way is the best. So um, I'll, I'll get her to explain it in the next video. But um, I'm sorry that the video started off like me stuttering and stuff. I, it, I'm just trying to get back into the hang of it. <laughs> but um, yeah, if there's a, a, any more questions that you want me to answer or me to answer in the next video, just drop them in the comments and I'm sure to answer it. Um, but yeah, um, thank you all. Thank you guys for the, for the support. And 
Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>